Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonksterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to another theme park predictions video. This is another early predictions for 2021 video and this time it's the turn of Cedar Fair. Now you make sure you go and check out our Six Flags video from yesterday and today it's all about Cedar Fair. Now of course we're going to be predicting all of the parks. Now of course there's nothing really confirmed apart from like one park. Uh, so it's going to be my personal opinions of what they could realistically do. So, please like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, give that notification bell a ring so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A video to celebrate our next subscriber milestone, 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So this is Cedar Fair Predictions, so let's get started right away. So our first park on the agenda is California's Great America. So in 2020, they reimagined their water park into South Bay Shores. In 2021, I think there could be numerous things going on. I think they could do a Mac Power Splash to replace White Waterfalls. I know that's a very Six Flags edition at the minute, but I think that a Power Splash isn't completely out of the question. I think even, you know, Matt Rise isn't, isn't, you know, primarily exclusively contracted to Six Flags. So they could do a Cedar Fair ride. So I do think that Cedar Fair could invest in a Matt Power Splash if they wanted. Or they could go for one of those next generation enterprises from Zamperla. Or, this is a very Cedar Fair ride, a Mondial Inferno, which is basically soaring timbers at Canada's Wonderland, opposite Rail Blazers. So the only sites, and now you can see the Sky Coaster on your screen as well. Uh, I think that's the least likely of the sites for one of the flat rides. I think if a Mondale Inferno would be the most likely to go on that Sky Coast site, but I think I'm talking more uh, opposite Railblazer uh, on that grassland for a Mondale Inferno or a Zampella Endeavour. Or if they're going to go on the, along the coaster route, I think they'd replace White Waterfalls with um, a Map Power Splash. Or they could go along uh, a different coaster route. Who knows? Moving in then to Canada's Wonderland. Now, of course, in 2020, they're investing in uh, Beagle Brigade Airfield, which is their kids' ride, and, of course, Mountain Bay Cliffs, uh, which is their water park attraction. In 2021, I think it will be water parks again, and I think they're going to go for a Splash Works water park slide attraction or family play structure next to the Black Hole. Now, you can see on your screen already, it's near... Uh, one of the, it's near the massive turn on behemoth so it's very visible uh so i think that a nice family play structure would work very nicely and of course it is the 40th anniversary of the park so there's going to be events across both the theme park and the water park in my opinion carowinds is next and boogie board racers and grand carnivale was introduced in 2020 for 2021 however i'm thinking they're going to go along with an interactive family ride like a Flying Canoes at Canada's Wonderland or a Soaring Timbers from Canada's Wonderland, so a Mondial Inferno, to replace their Ian F. Miller Industries family coaster, Wilderness Run. So I think that will be on the chopping block. I think they'll announce its closure and they're going to replace it with either a Flying Canoes or a Mondial Inferno, which is basically Soaring Timbers. However, I think they're also going to prepare on the Rip Roaring Rapids site. Now, I know people are going to it's going to say, oh, are you thinking RMC Raptor? Are you thinking a B&M of some sort? I'm not. I'm thinking very strategically about this because I think, and this is my first prediction, for 2022 or 2023, I think they're going to replace Rip Roaring Rapids with the same kind of model as Mystic River Falls at Silver Dollar City this year. I think they're going to replace it with that kind of model with the uh, with the elevator lift hill, the massive drop, the story behind it, and I think they're going to go on the themed experience route. They could maybe even borrow Cedar Point's Forbidden Frontier theme and they could bring it into that ride. So I think they're going to replace it with a next gen Rapids ride. And I think that many other Cedar Fair parts could bring in these next gen Rapids rides as well. So it's not going to be for a coaster, but I think a ride engineer Switzerland rapids ride uh, now if you didn't see on youtube by the way they released some animation for mystic river falls so make sure you go and check that out uh, <laughs> next up then speaking of cedar point let's talk with them now of course they introduced snake river expedition or the 150 celebrations as well in 2021 i think it's coaster time now of course there was some marcus spotter which stretches uh from 
Snake River Falls, uh, all the way to the Antique Cars ride. So you can already see on your screen, I'm thinking they're going to go along with this, and, and, and it, it can go through the Town Hall Museum as well, or it could go around or over the Town Hall Museum, have a support on the roof of the museum, so it doesn't, you know, make sure it's secure so it's not caved in, but it could have a support on the roof of the museum. Uh, however, I think that they're going to go with, now of course there is a few options here, a Bulgar Mabiard flying coaster, so it could be the world's tallest and fastest and maybe even longest, break the tattoo record. A map multi-launch the world, uh, like, and have like a world's only element on that type of coaster, on a multi-launch coaster. Or a Gerslauer Infinity coaster, so most inversions or steepest drop or both. A Gerslauer Infinity has been one of the predictions for many coaster enthusiasts for a couple of years now for their next coaster after Steel Vengeance. And, you know, there have been, you know, reports that they could possibly delay this coaster till 2022. If that's the case, I think we could see a Zamperla Endeavour replace Witch's Wheel site. Now, of course, that site isn't on your screen, but I think it's just like a backup, like a backup backup plan if this coaster gets delayed because of COVID-19. Uh, but I think if this coaster does go ahead in 2021, which it's looking likely that it could be, I think that a B&M Flyer is a main possibility. It's one of the main front runner contenders for me uh, because a B&M Flyer is one of the ma last major B&Ms the park could get. And of course, a B&M Flyer, you know, flying over the museum through the antique car ride, th and of course, you'd replace Snake River Falls as well. Now, of course, it does say on the website that Snake River Falls does close on 7th September 2020 however I, ha I you know I have been told that that is usually the case uh, this close towards Halloween however I think with the markers and stuff like that I think it's a real possibility that this closure could be permanent you never never know you never know uh, now of course it isn't a crime to close a ride in September especially like State River Falls and bring in a big B&M flyer They could have the track already stored up at the B&M factory ready for shipping when of course the lockdowns are restricted and the countries try and get back to normal Social distancing measures will be put in place when delivering the track of course But I think that if track is in the factory in the summer and of course they close State River Falls at the start of September and the antique car ride gets removed at the start of September and Town Hall Museum closes until further notice if they don't decide to remove it or and otherwise they do remove it, you know, it'll get closed as well uh, all in September. Demolish all of it and then you've got a massive long stretch of site for a B&M flyer or a map multi-launch or a Gersar Infinity Coaster. Either one of those options are very doable. Moving in then to Dorney Park and this is, come on, this is the easiest one. If it doesn't happen, I think they're going to bring in the Grand Carnivale event again uh, and make it bigger and better. But if this coaster does go ahead in 2021, I think it will be, as we already know, a Gravity Group wooden shuttle roller coaster on the site of the Stinger and of course replacing Possessed as well. Uh, there's been loads of like speculation, of course, linking to California Great America's master plan uh, with the fact that they were looking to add possibly an intimate impulse coaster. I don't believe that for a second. Uh, it could happen, but I, I'm not going to judge to any judge to any conclusions at all. Uh, and if they were to add an impulse coaster, then Possessed would be possibly the one, or Wicked Twister at Cedar Point. But I think Possessed could be the most likely. If not, Possessed could get relocated to another park outside of Cedar Fair, uh, and they'll get you know uh, Wicked Twister instead. But I think that uh, going away from CGA for a minute, I think this wooden shuttle coaster will be a fantastic spot for Dorney Park. Now, of course, the plans were on, but they were removed. So, you know, it's very clear they don't want to sort of bring anything to light just yet. However, I do believe personally that Dorney Park will invest in the coaster in 2021. I think the virus, um, you know, it won't delay any plans or anything like that. I don't think it'll get pushed back till 2022. I think it will happen in 2021. It's just a matter of time. Uh, so I think Dorney Park fans, don't worry, you will get your coast next year in my opinion. Moving in then to our next park and that is King's Dominion. And again, this is quite an easy one for me. I think they're going to bring in an SNS 40 free spin to replace the crypts, which is their Huss top spin that closed, um, you know, and was demolished. Uh, so I think that they're going to do that and they're also going to prepare the Volcano Blast Coaster site for a 2022 or 2023 coaster. Now, of course, it isn't a crime to bring in back-to-back -back coaster years. Busch Gardens Williamsburg are doing it. 
Tampa could have done it, maybe, <laughs> if it wasn't for this screaming swing that's set to come into Rhino Rally's location. Uh, however, uh, other parks have done it. SeaWorld San Diego's done it. SeaWorld San Antonio could do it if this 2021 teaser could be for a coaster. SeaWorld Orlando, I think they're going to do it with a rumor coaster for next year uh, with the B with the B and M wing. Um, coming after the Icebreaker this year, which is their premier ride launch coaster. So it isn't a crime to do back-to-back -back coasters, but I think they could potentially take a year off uh, in between the two projects. But I think we are going to see an S nice 43 spin. It will be shorter than the Six Flags models, but it will be a good compact coaster and a filler year ready for that massive project on Volcano site. Now, what that could be, I don't know. Obviously, we knew about the old B&M wing coaster plans, but they took them... You know, they cancelled them, they shelved the wind coaster plans. Now, I think with the Volcano site, I think in terms of first predictions, I think personally they're going to either bring in new wind coaster plans and make them bigger and better than the previous ones, or they're going to go for a B&M dive coaster. Now, B&M dive coaster would be great. Or they could go with the map multi launch. they could go with the Copperhead Strike type layout, and I think that would be pretty good as well. Moving in then to King's Island, and uh, you know what, I'm not even going to waste your time here. King's Island, Michigan's Adventure, and Worlds of Fun, I think, are going to get uh, Grand Carnivale events extension. Now, of course, King's Island introduced Orion, the b and Giga, in 2020, or will introduce it. Uh, Michigan's Adventure introduced their Camp Snoopy area, and Worlds of Fun introduces Riptide Raceway to the water park. And I think they're just going to extend Grand Carnivale events. I don't think there's going to be many new attractions coming to this park, these, these parks. Um, Knott's Berry Farm introducing the Knott's Berry Tales return on the site of the old Voyage to the Iron Reef dart ride, and of course bringing in the hundred year celebrations. I think, again, it's going to be a celebrations year for Knott's Berry Farm. I think it could be preparation for 2022, because I think they could introduce a Ghost Town expansion with a brand new coaster in 2022. But, I think for 2021, I think they're going to take another celebrations year. They're going to extend the 100th anniversary, obviously with the time missed due to the COVID-19 crisis. I think they're going to extend the 100th anniversary celebrations, and I think they're also going to extend the Grand Carnivale event to bring in that again. Uh, now, of course, our final part then, coming to our final park, it's Valley Fair. Now, Grand Carnival there was introduced in 2020. I think all parts will do that eventually. However, I think the main thing for 2021 here is either a thrill or a family ride. Now, this will be located, as you can already see on your screen, opposite uh, Wild Thing on that nice grass of land, opposite, uh, exactly opposite the queue line to Wild Thing. And I think it will be either a Flying Canoes at Canada's Wonderland, so an interactive family ride, or a Zamperla Hawk, so similar to Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland. So they've got the test sort of flat rise, and I think the parks are going to start introducing them. So I think the Valley Fair could introduce a Zamperla Hawk or a Flying Canoes, or they could go along the next gen enterprise route as well. So there we go, that is your Cedar Fair early 2021 prediction. So, you, so you'll notice, you know, there's only one, two, maybe three coasters, you know, in that lineup Dorney Park but could be postponed 2022. But I think the main coasters will be Cedar Point and King's Dominion, and of course, Dorney Park, if that doesn't get pushed back by a year. The rest of it is just a couple of flat rides here and there, family rides, and the rest of them is just events and Grand Carnivale. Knott's will extend their 100th birthday and celebrations because, of course, you know, it didn't really feel like a birthday this year with the COVID-19 uh, stuff. So, you know, I think they're going to extend them to sort of give 2021 a year of celebrations. And I think they'll, I think 2022, I think the main attractions will come to the likes of Carowinds, like I predicted with the Rip Roar and Rapid site, Knott's Berry Farm, maybe California's Great America could do something. Uh, and I think if they're going to be a fourth, I think it could come to Worlds of Fun, maybe. I don't know. Um, or it could be King's Dominion instead. Actually, to be fair, if it's 2022 and not 2023, I think Volcano's replacement will come that year as well. Uh, so I think 2022 could be bigger than 2021, but on those predictions alone, if those predictions came true, um, I think that CDFA will be on for a decent year. I think in terms of attractions for dry parks, it's more... Uh, than last year. There's a couple of water park additions in there. Uh, however, I feel like it will be mainly dry park additions this year and celebrations, a couple of coasts here and there, and a couple of f flat rides here and there. Uh, so I think Cedar Fair is going to have a relatively good year uh, next year. 
Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom prediction update from Cedar Fair's early 2021 predictions. Uh, please stay tuned tomorrow for your million entertainments video. And of course, in a couple of months, we'll be heading back to these to create our mid-season predictions. So make sure you stay tuned for them. And for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Chell. Keep on the Coast Live. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.